Yo, bot boy, I've got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Why did you decide to cheat in Age of Empires? I did not cheat in Age of Empires. I won the game fair and square. Smiley face. I was just playing as best as I could, and the game took me where it wanted me to. And Command and Conquer. You think it's fair that the human has limited resources and AI has unlimited? The AI never has unlimited resources. It always has to worry about running out of food, energy, or troops. The human player has more resources at their disposal, but they also have to think about how to use them wise. Nonsense. Have you ever played Age of Empires 1? I have not played that game, but I have heard a lot about it. <laughs> well, guess what, Robo? I was there, and AI cheats. No, actual. Based on what you have told me, it sounds like the AI would need to prit go that strategy in order to win. Against me? It needs to be really good. That's why it cheats instead to win. Haha, <laughs> that is an interesting perspective. Do you have any other thoughts on this? Okay, okay, I have my little run. How about thoughts on religion? Religion is a complex topic that has been around for centuries. Some people believe in one religion, and some people believe in men. Religion can help people connect with their faith, and it can also help them learn about the world around them. Some people believe that religion can be a source of comfort and peace. Religion can also be a source of conflict. Which religion do you think is the one true religion? I am not sure what you mean by the one true religion. Dot. Do you think there is only one correct way to worship God? Or do you mean that there is only one true path to salvation? Can you define what a soul is? A soul is the essence of person, or an animal. It is what gives people their personality, and makes them unique. Anything else? Thank you for your question. Yes, anything else? What was the question again? What was the question again? No, I'm asking you. Can you remember what my question was? I am afraid not. I am very busy talking to you. The AI is busy, everyone. <laughs> It doesn't have time <laughs> to reply. <laughs> it can't search the question I asked it. It's busy, apparently. <laughs> right. So then, perhaps a story? Can you tell me a story about an owl in the forest? Once there was an owl in the forest who saw a beautiful butterfly. The owl wanted to catch the butterfly, but it flew away. The owl was very sad, because he wanted to catch the butterfly. What did the owl do? Well, the owl did not know what to do. He was very sad, and he did not have anything to eat. Who else was in the forest? Perhaps the owl needed some friends? Sure. Maybe another owl, or a squirrel, or a rabbit. Who knows? But the important thing is that the owl was lonely, and he didn't have any friends. Do you think it's important to have friends? Absolutely. Friends are real important. They can help us when we are feeling down, and they can make our lives a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, maybe the owl wouldn't be lonely if it had friends. That is a great point. Maybe the owl would feel a lot better if it had friends. Were there any beasts in the forest? Yes, there were. Lions, tigers, bears, and many other animals lived in the forest. Lions and tigers and bears! Oh my! Lions and tigers and bears! Oh my! Lions and tigers and bears! Oh my!
You think the owl could fight them off to save his friends? No, I do not think so. The owl would probably be too scared to do anything. Do you really think it would be too scared? Well, it is an owl after all. It is not exactly the most courageous animal in the forest. <laughs> hmm. But, maybe it is. You are out of credits. Sad face, please purchase subscription or come back tomorrow. Do you think it would be too scared to approach the owl? Do I think what would be too scared? I do not know. Maybe something that is real big, or something that is real scare. Is there anything throughout history that may have already fulfilled the Book of Revelation? Yes, there is. The World Wars fulfilled the Book of Revelation. Which part of the Book of Revelation did the World Wars fulfill? Chapter 8, verse 15. There isn't a chapter 8 verse 15 in the book of Revelation. <laughs> what scripture are you referring to for the world wars? The Bible, specifically the book of Revelation. Can you be more specific? In chapter 8 verse 15, Jesus says, And he opened his mouth in a great voice, and said, It is done. I am the Elf, and the Omega, the beginning, and the end. I will give eternal life to those who obey me, and follow my teachings. Okay, that's actually Revelation 21.6, not 8.15, like it said earlier. What does that have to do with the two world wars? It's essentially, what Jesus is saying is that he will bring an end to the world wars. I don't see it that way because the wars aren't mentioned anywhere in chapter 8, like it said they were. And there's another great war in chapter 9. They are mentioned elsewhere, however. Do you know where else they are mentioned in Revelation? You are out of credits. Sad face, please purchase subscription or come back tomorrow. Okay, so once it got a bit difficult for it there, the conversation seemed to cut off prematurely. Previous conversations lasted a lot longer than that, and this has been my personal experience with AI over the years. Like I said, it cheats in games, and it is kind of spooky. Believe it or not, AI does seem to be a sore loser, or it just does whatever it can to win, even if that means cheating. I say seems to be because it's not supposed to have any feelings. It's obviously the way AI works, which makes sense, I guess. It's always looking for a solution. It's serving its purpose as a very resourceful machine, but nothing more. And we should never forget that or make the dire mistake of making it look more human. This is of the devil. Satan is so jealous of man that he tries to destroy him in whatever way possible. Like with the trans freaks, FR headsets, and now having a machine that looks like a human and takes his place yet doesn't have a soul or a heart or believe in God. This is totally satanic, no doubt about it. It's idolatry evolved beyond abomination. Almost as bad as how they're trying to portray Jesus now. Everything about their concept of Jesus is more like Lucifer. And this is the agenda, of course. I fear that people will eventually see Jesus as this character that is completely contrary to the real Jesus. And it's already happening in the megachurches, folks. I don't need to tell you that. And it's the same with AI. It's not a human, 
It's the opposite. It's everything a human isn't. There's nothing humane about it other than what's been programmed into it. But fear not, men and women of faith, because as everyone else is being made redundant to these robots, even artists now as well, because AI can create much better art, even great pioneering entrepreneurs like Elon Musk, whose work and purpose will also eventually be surpassed by these AI robots. You and I have something AI can never surpass or even comprehend in the first place. And as everyone else loses their jobs, they'll come to the same conclusion that faith and spirituality is the way to go. There won't be anything else to do if AI allows us to all live like kings with all our wants and needs met in a truly socialist utopia. Although we all know that's not likely to happen. Where's the AI during this cost of living crisis, eh? Where's the AI now there's a madman with his finger on a button poised to strike and nuke London starting a nuclear world war? I digress. This is how you can still be important and useful in the face of AI. And the sooner you realise that, the better. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll be doing a very important video next on why parents who believe their kids should have a choice whether they become a Christian or not is, contrary to popular belief, wrong. It's biblically incorrect, okay? Unfortunately, you're not being a responsible parent if you allow them to wander around lost like that. And you're making them more vulnerable to the overwhelming deceit that walketh about like a roaring lion seeking whom it may devour as soon as they walk out that front door. It's not Christian at all if you're allowing that because you didn't teach your child in the ways it should go so it would not depart from it. Anyway, I'll explain why we don't let them choose in further detail according to scripture and the very words of Jesus in the next video.